Right, it was Pascal who asked that, uh, he says that my girlfriend said once that an apology is actually egoistic because you feel better after apologizing. And he wants to know if it is true. Well, it, it, I am not really sure if it could be true in all circumstances because it depends on what you have done. If you have been rude to her and you feel sorry and you realize that that was immature and that was uncalled for, that was not right, and you want to be respectful to her and apologize, well, it of course makes you feel good and that's one of the motivations. But it also is proper and makes her feel good as well gives her that affirm, affirmation and and um, um, what she expects, uh, the certain respect and recognition of the wrong that has been done to her. So the approval and the affirmation of the fact that she was right and you were rude and uh, it was you did wrong to her comes from your uh, manners and the way you apologize. Well, it's the same as saying if you buy flowers for her, then it's also selfish because it makes you feel good. And then we can also say then it makes you feel good and it makes makes her maybe even thinking that she might be obligated to be nice to you. I mean, we can go on and on, but why don't we forget about all these meanings and just see what's the right thing to do? What would you do if you do something wrong to someone? Would you not want to ex to, to, to explain and apologize because that is not in your nature to be doing wrong to people? Or would you like yourself to turn into someone who doesn't recognize the mistake that he has made, who doesn't care about hurting other people, doesn't want to become more knowledgeable about what is right, what is wrong, and what builds his character, makes his character to represent himself the way he wants to be represented, and instead he just wants to let it go, which will condition him to become an asshole. In other words, means he just cares nothing, and he remains the way he does. He doesn't care what hurts people he do or doesn't. And doesn't even care to recognize what he has done was bad and conditions himself to remain or become more of an asshole. And I don't think anybody wants that. So apologizing beside whatever she thinks it is also a way to, uh, to develop yourself and advance your own knowledge about yourself that this what I did it shouldn't have been done by a person like me because I don't want to have a character of person who would behave or say, uh, express his views in this way, which is uh, rude and hurting someone. It is not according to the codes of civility that we are all boasting about in this world, that we are now civilized after thousands of years have passed and we think we are civilized, yet we still go around and insult each other. We still go around and become hurtful to each other. We still go around and in the world there are wars and still killing each other for difference in opinions. So where is the civility? It has to start with us. And that starts with that fact of recognizing what you've done wasn't nice and apologize for it. That takes a big man to admit. Why should we focus on the fact, oh, he's apolo apologizing because it makes him feel good. No. <laughs> That's selfish to think that someone who's doing something nice is only because of his own interest. You know, why should we think that if someone is doing something right and something nice and apologizing, it is nothing other than his own selfish means to make him feel good? Why should we think that way? Why should we not just say, well, he's apologizing? Whatever reason that affects him or helps him, but he also apologizing because he's recognizing what he's done was bad towards, you know, me and is trying to uh, learn from it, you know. So I hope that would be enough for that question to give you something to ponder.